Hallelujah, praise the Lord. This is Prophetic Intercession with Amel, you're welcome. Always an honor to bring you prophetic messages from the Lord. If this is the first time you've seen me, a special welcome to you. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. This is no coincidence. Believe me, if God let you here, it should be for a just cause. And I pray that you stick around long enough to hear that. And I just heard the Lord say in my spirit that there's an instruction that God is about to give you concerning this platform or about this platform. But an instruction is coming to you. So please just stay right there subscribe and do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that whenever there is um, a prophetic message you will be the first to know hallelujah and to all my returning subscribers god bless you i love you so much you are always in my thoughts and you are always in my prayers hallelujah glory to god god says that he's making you a god over this people he's making you a god over them He's about to establish you so high that you're going to become a God over this people. You know, when I heard this prophetic word, it felt like it's too much. Like, you know, it's too much. It's like um, profanity. Like, I do not know how I could, I could actually, um, you know, relay this information to you. And the Lord kept pressing in my spirit. And he led me to the book of um, Exodus chapter 7 verse 1. The Bible says that this is God speaking to Moses. Then the Lord said to Moses, Now hear this, I make you as God to Pharaoh to declare my will and purpose to him. And your brother Aaron shall be your prophet. Now who is Pharaoh? Pharaoh is the same person that Moses ran away from years ago because he was scared what he did would be hurt by the Pharaoh and that he would be killed. And when God told Moses to go back to Egypt he did not want to go back there because he was scared you know and when God gave him an assignment that entailed liberating the people of God it did not come well to him because he knows how powerful Pharaoh is and he did not see himself as an adversary to Pharaoh he did not think he could be an adversary to Pharaoh and so God told him don't worry, I am making you a God over Pharaoh. And the Lord began to minister when I read this. He says, there are people here, you have been tormented in the past by certain situations, certain circumstances have actually tormented you. As a matter of fact, you have bowed down to, you have you have given up to, to certain things in life that you know in your heart of hearts, you know that you cannot do this. They have been a hindrance. Probably it's not even starting from you. It has been something in your family, in your generation, and you're telling yourself, this is my life, this is my destiny. I don't think I can escape this. This is my reality. I should find a way to deal with it. The Lord sent me here to tell you, he is making you a, a God over those forces that have tormented you, over those forces that, that have refused to let you go, that has refused to let your, your destiny manifest, God says he is making you a God, a God. Do you know who God is? A God means that you cannot be defeated. He says, I am making you as a God to Pharaoh. When someone is a God to you, it means there is nothing you can do against them. There is, you cannot even stand to fight. Who can battle with the Lord? Who can fight against God? No one. And so God was just telling Moses that I am putting you in a position where Pharaoh and all his magicians and all the magic of Egypt will not be able to contend you. You are going as one man and you have uh, um, your, your, your brother Aaron as your prophet but you are going to stand against Pharaoh and all the, the, the magicians of Egypt and all the, 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 the witchcraft or whatsoever powers that are in Egypt but I am going to make you a god over them all by no means shall they be able to overpower you and this was so evident when moses went to to pharaoh and he said let my people go they said no i'm we're not going to let let your people go you know so he casted down the rod and he became a serpent and moses uh, and i can imagine um, the pharaoh laughing and he caught his magicians and they did they, they they did they casted down their own rods and he became serpents as well 
for God to establish that he is making him a God over Pharaoh. He caused the big, the big serpent, that is the one that came from Moses' wrath, to, to swallow up all the small um, snakes of, uh, of, of, of the magicians of Egypt. That was God establishing, putting a seal on the word he has told Moses. I'm not sending you to go there as just a mere man. I'm sending you to go there as a God. Whatsoever they bring to counter, whatsoever they bring to counter this word or to counter your position, I am going to swallow them up. I am going to give you total victory and so god is saying this the word has been released to you god is making you a god over those situations and when you go back they will try to test it they'll try to test to see if actually what god said is going to happen and indeed they are going to see the hand of god in your life if they touch you however they try to come up against you god is going to fight them hallelujah did you receive this word with gladness god is making you a god over your adversaries god is making you a god over your persecutors god is making you a god over those things that have tormented you before just go with the mindset that god is making you a god over them you are going to lord over them in the mighty name of jesus may the lord bless you keep you cause his face to shine upon you may he be gracious to you and give you peace the shalom of the lord nothing missing nothing broken in jesus mighty name amen